Hi all, many of us may be aware that we would have come across uh, of some sort of power supplies where you wanted to uh, say for example you have a input voltage of 30 volts and you wanted to reduce the voltage 30 to uh, 5 volts or maybe 10 volts or maybe 20 volts. So if you want to reduce a voltage from high level to lower level, we require a converter called DC to DC converter that to specially DC to DC step down converter will works in uh, generally. So when you wanted to work down the DC voltage from one level to other level, a simple circuit called a potential divider circuit may work out. Okay, what is this potential divider arrangement circuit? Say for example, you have a DC power supply of 30 volts and you wanted to reduce the voltage to 15 volts, you can have a two resistors that connected across depending say for example I am taking 10k and 10k and if you see the voltage across this resistor that is so voltage across say this resistor is equal to voltage across 10k is equal to total voltage into 10k divided by total resistance 10k plus 10k so what you will get is 30 into 10k divided by 20k resistance that you get so if you take out carefully you will get only 15 volts so why okay so whatever the voltage that you have given here 30 volts you are getting a voltage of 15 volts so that means with the help of simple potential divider arrangement circuit you can reduce the voltage from one level to other level but why many people are not going to this process reason being is if the amount of power loss that takes place in this circuit is really high the total amount of power that is taking place across the circuit is high and the efficiency of the system is drastically low due to which we will be definitely going with a type of circuit called SMPS it is called switch mode power supply when I am designing so many circuits you know I have designed so many DC 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 AC inverter circuits one important uh, application is you know we are using so many kind of sensors it may be a dc voltage sensor it may be ac voltage sensor or it may be power supply to the uh, op amp like this so there are so many uh, power required circuits are there in, in, in whenever you are using the power electronic circuit so when i came across this kind of system so i was literally gone through with so many I, uh, so many different kind of configuration ultimately I found a very nice application very nice uh, circuit in fact that is with the, with the, a, a small chip named as XL7045 so now I will just talk about the how you can design your own power supply with the help of XL4075 in this video I will restrict myself to design the software part and uh, software with uh, you know whatever the schematic that we need to design for the real time hardware in the next video i will show you about how how this has come up this thing so basically this excel 70, uh, 7045 is 8 pin ic so it has uh, 8 pins that is uh, v in that is input voltage switch feedback ground these two pins are not connected ncm is not connected and the current sense positive and the current sense negative so in general you know to overcome this kind of potential divider arrangement circuits as i told we go for generally a dc dc converter you know generally dc dc converter look like there may be a switch and there may be a inductor there may be a capacitor and here across whatever you want the voltage that you want you can get it here and here you can use some sort of a free willing diode so that any amount of voltage that you go it will not flow back here the energy that is uh, stored in the inductor will free wheel in this through this diode now even if you see a, a simple thing this is simple DC DC converter here you are using a switch this switch could be either MOSFET or IGBT depending upon your power level but this switch requires itself a power supply so for this reason I have gone through this uh, one we have designed this is very very nice and excellent we have designed uh, this uh, uh, using a circuit with the help of XL7045 and this circuit is having 8 pin as I told and you can see the internal circuit of this 8 pin uh, IC is given like this so here V in is the input voltage where you can give any amount of voltage from 
0 to 80 volts as per the data sheet up to 85 volts also you can give between the ground and this is a switch and the, from the switch you can give inductor and capacitor and so on and here the current sense input and the feedback now we can see how actually a typical real time circuit looks like so here you observe this is typical real time circuit so here the input voltage you can give from 20 volts to 80 volts and this is our the IC that we talked about so in between the switch number 1 and switch number 4 we have given the input voltage and you know we have used two capacitors here one capacitor is 33 microfarad 100 volts one capacitor is 104 so why are we using this you know we could have used only one capacitor why should we use two so for suppose in case any of your DC power supply has little ripples in the input side to remove the ripples we will use definitely a bulk capacitor of something like 33 microfarad now and you know whenever you are using bulk bulk capacitors it may be having lot of internal resistance that is called ESR to remove that electrostatic resistance in the capacitor we use a small resistance which is having low capacitance across this low capacitance so in parallel if you add a two resistance in parallel the low resistance will dominate so that low resistance will come into picture that is the reason why they will take into consideration of connecting a low capacitor across a big capacitor now once the power supply is given here there is a switch here as I told this switch is given with the inductor so depending upon the time amount of current you know here they have used 100 micro Henry of 0.5 ampere inductor and this inductor is connected uh, to a bulk capacitor again this is the capacitor so this is the bulk capacitor as I told that is 100 microfarad 35 volts so here whenever you have to be very very careful if you are designing a circuit depending upon that circuit voltage you have to change this capacitor now for instance I am designing a circuit for 15 volt to 0.2 amperes so 35 volt capacitor might be sufficient that is the reason why 35 volt I have taken here so as I told you again to reduce the electrostatic resistance you have to use a small amount of capacitor in, in parallel with this capacitor so that the ripples that, are, that you are getting in the voltage that can be reduced further and this is the uh, you can use fast acting diode a short key diodes so this is the diode and this is the freewheeling path that you will get automatically now as I told you this here the important thing is the voltage feedback so now now you need to understand how much amount of voltage you wanted to maintain if you wanted to maintain the voltage you know you have to use a potential divider circuit here and this potential divider circuit is followed with the help of a small capacitor if you observe here this capacitor is tries to remove any kind of ripple that is coming across this resistors now what we are trying to do is we wanted to take the feedback voltage from this point you observe we wanted to take the voltage across this particular point now you observe what are the voltage that we wanted to take say for example if you wanted to maintain a voltage of uh, uh, 15 volts you have to consider the formula the formula is 1.25 into 1 plus R2 by R1 so you can observe carefully here 1.25 into 1 plus R2 by R1 here R2 is 30k R1 is 2.71k so now if you 30k by what 2.7k is 11.11 plus 12 12.11 into 1.25 is 15.1375 is exactly the voltage that you can maintain now if you want to limit your current also you can have the current feedback that as I told CSP is the current feedback in the positive side and this is the current feedback in the negative side if you maintain this kind of circuit you could able to exactly maintain the voltage and the current limits as per your requirement so in the next video I will show you about how we have designed our own circuit and where can you purchase these ICs if you want the complete PCB also we are we are uh, we are having and we have fabricated some sort of these PCBs you can purchase from it as, as well the details are below